beautiful people, how's it going? As you saw last week, my hair is newly pink. So I wanted to try to style outfits that are sort of based around the new hair color. So if you're also struggling to style outfits with your new pink hair, or you just want some general summer outfit inspo, this is the video for you. All right, let's get started. All right, first up we have an outfit that honestly I've just been wanting to wear, but it works with the pink hair too. So ladies, can I get a W in the chat? I just think the black, more structured, bodice-like top over the super poofy, soft, floral dress is such a fun juxtaposition. It's giving fantasy character, but also avant-garde a little bit. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what avant-garde is, but you get the point. The Doc Martens also repeat the dark structured feel of the top, so they work really well together to balance the soft baby doll dress. This next look is sort of a fun spin on a monochrome look. We have the white shorts, white sneakers, and white tank top, but the top also has a subtle green and pink floral pattern on it. The pink matches the hair, obviously, and then I chose these jade earrings to match the green. Green and pink is also a god-tier color combo. Maybe I just think that because of the hold Ashley from Best Dress's last apartment tour has on me to this day, but I think it's flawless. For this next look, I wanted to do something really casual because we can't dress like ethereal fairies all the time, you know? This is just jean shorts and a crew neck, super basic for a cozy summer night, but I love the addition of this like psychedelic blue and brown toned scrunchie that I actually found in my childhood bedroom from my gymnastics days. I was kind of shook at how trendy this is today, honestly. I especially love this because the blue and brown slash tan tones match the trim on the crew neck. and. That's attention to detail, baby. All right, yes, this is another floral print, but there is more variation to come. So just sit tight, keep watching, please. Don't click out. Okay, so this is just one of my favorite outfits for summer in general. I've worn it numerous times this summer, including for my birthday. The midi dress, the platform sandals, the green claw clip, it's all my favorite things. Sort of a collection of items that are both on trend and Pretty timeless, plus easy to throw together, practical for regular life, but still looks so cute. Okay, so for this look, I was trying to channel like Bratz doll because I feel like they would rock pink hair. My style isn't very Bratz-like, but I tried here, okay. The leather jacket and black miniskirt are my attempts to get that edginess in there, and then the gold star earrings and zebra scrunchie are my attempt at their high-level accessorizing skill. Basically, what I learned from this one is that I could only dream of meeting the iconic fashion prowess of a Bratz doll, but fun idea, fun concept, I'm still behind it. Alright, this is really barely an outfit, but I think it looks cool. Honestly, I just got this nude like underdress thing to go under a slip dress I have that's kind of see-through, but then when I put it on, I was like, okay, wait, is this a vibe? I just think the nude look with pink and green accents feels so futuristic almost, like it gives me Doja Cat music video vibes, which is just a really cool look that is totally outside of what I would normally wear. So I don't know, I think it looks cool. This is your sign to try something outside of your comfort zone. Next up, in the opposite direction, we have something extremely in my comfort zone. For this look, I was trying to do like quirky artsy vibes and ideally I would have like a funky colorful button up with this, but I don't own one of those. So I did a funky black and white button up and then funky colorful earrings to try to get the same effect. The sort of vintage style shoes make the look a little more like indie girl, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, honestly I'm not totally sold on this outfit, but the vision was there. Tell me what you would do to fix this outfit in the comments, please. Okay, so if you watched my glow up video, you already saw this outfit there. If you didn't see it, go watch it after this one or else. Anyway, I had to include it in the outfits video too because I'm just obsessed with it. It's giving edgy, it's giving e-boy, it's giving Billie Eilish. This is so different from how I would normally dress. When I wore this out, I kind of felt like I was dressed up as a character, but if I saw someone else wearing this, I wouldn't bat an eye. So again, this is your sign to get out of your style comfort zone. It's almost the end of hot girl summer. I ask you, if not now, when? 
All right, for this look, we are back to the quirky artsy vibes, but just a little more toned down, a little less kindergarten teacher and more like our student in the studio. I love a hoodie under a flannel. I think it's super cozy, plus the overalls, coziest possible vibes. I added these Nikes because I like how the colors in them and the flannel and the hair all kind of match. I love a very heavily layered sort of shapeless outfit. Honestly, it feels a little more androgynous and youthful for some reason. I just feel like a meddling teen who's getting up to something in those outfits, which is a fun energy to bring to the day. Okay, so for this look, I honestly just wanted to show what top I had under the overalls, but then I realized this look is different enough from the last one to be its own outfit. So here's another version of the overalls outfit that's actually summer friendly. I love this top, but it's a little see-through, so I have to wear it with overalls for now until I can alter it or get a strapless nude bra that doesn't make me want to peel my skin off. Okay, that's all. Next. Okay, this look is very much my existing style that I then worried wouldn't work with the pink hair for some reason, but then I tried it and still liked it. I feel like this sort of funky but casual and basic Pinterest girl style is always shown on like a blonde California girl type, so I was worried the pink hair would ruin the vibe. That is such a bizarre insecurity, but anyway, tried it, still love it. I think it's fun, and I actually like these earrings with this hair especially because they kind of match with the pink, but also the orange and the yellow contrast with the pink. For this look, we are back once again to the sort of soft, feminine, fairy-esque aesthetic because I wanted to use each of these items still in this video, so I threw them all together in this outfit. With the lace and the green and the hair bandana, she's giving cottage core, she's giving fairy core, she's giving absolute whimsy. Oh, I also just had to show off how many hair bandanas I have that also would have matched perfectly with this outfit. Uh, not much else to say about this one. It's pretty, it's pretty easy, but still subtly detailed. We love to see it. Next. Okay, this next outfit is very simple, sort of athletic, but then the pom-pom earrings add a bit of a pop. Honestly, this outfit is not my best work. Like, I don't hate it, but I don't know if it deserves to be in this video. I do think a really fun hairstyle would make this a lot cuter, like bubble braids or something. Anyway, yeah, this is another outfit that's just kind of made up of things I didn't get to use yet, but this one didn't work out as well as the last one, and I can accept that because I love myself. Okay, this outfit is really just to show that your entire look doesn't actually have to be formulated around your hair. If it doesn't match perfectly, it's okay. This is sort of an average everyday outfit for me. This top is one of my favorites, and at first I was like, OMG, it's gonna look weird together, and now I can't wear it. And then I put it on and was like, okay, actually this is fine. Do whatever you want, no one will care. That's the main lesson here. Okay, ending on a super summery outfit. I'm in love with this, although I'd probably safety pin the scarf top in place to wear outside because I'm so nervous it would just slip up. I recently thrifted this scarf and I think the pattern is so interesting and unique. I love it as a top like this. I also think this color combo with the hair is sort of unexpected but I think they all work together really well. So if you're trying to match outfits with your colorful hair, don't be afraid to try something you'd normally never think of putting together because it just might work. All right, well, those were all my outfits. Uh, this took me so much time and so much sweat. So please do like and subscribe if you want to support me and see more of me. So I'm gonna go try to wipe all the sweat off of me now. Tell me which outfits were your favorite. Tell me if you have any experience with dyeing your hair an interesting color. And if you also had a hard time making outfits with your hair like that. I still feel a little uncertain after doing this, but I think I had a lot of ideas to work with. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you personally so much. And I will see you next time. Bye.